Hey guys, I'm Kyle. And I'm Sean. And this is Dave, uh, our special guest for the evening. I wanted to tell you guys about the shirt that I'm wearing. Fan actually went to the Doctor Who experience, and I'm incredibly jealous that she went, but she got, she actually bought me and sent me this shirt and this cool wristband. So thank you. Kyle Walters here. Bought me this for my birthday. Spoof on Bat a famous Batman cover with Batman and Robin. And Sean's two favorite heroes are Doctor Who and Batman. So it's perfection, Doctor Batman. We are just about to watch the second episode of Doctor Who. Into the Dalek. And the Dalek episodes are really important. I'm, I'm a little worried that it's happening already in episode two, especially when episode one we didn't really get to know the Doctor. <laughs> The Daleks could be a great way to meet him because every time I've seen the Doctors meet a Dalek, it, it, you see a different side of them like, because they're their mortal enemy. Like with Matt Smith, for example, when he first met the Dalek, he takes a pipe and starts like beating at the thing with it. And for Matt Smith, that's huge. Matt Smith was never a violent character. It's like you just see like the visceral reaction. So I'm very curious to see how Capaldi reacts to Daleks. Well, all right, let's start we're the, show. Watch the show. Spinning TARDIS, spinning TARDIS, spinning TARDIS, spinning TARDIS, spinning TARDIS, spinning TARDIS, I am Dave! I am Dave! That was awesome. That was awesome. I loved it. That was great. Past the Jelly Baby. Loved it. I thought it was great. I was nervous about this episode to start because I don't like shrinking episodes. Right, it's like magic school buzz. It sounds cheesy, and, and I knew it was oh, gonna be about they the did it so they well. Did it so the well. art direction was fantastic. Oh, wow. The the, job. the journey for mo almost every character that was not a soldier was great. It was great. Even yeah. so, that one soldier had like a really Gretchen. Great Gretchen, Gretchen killed it. Really I, I think I'm gonna come up with an award on this show called the Gretchen Award, and it's when a uh, guest actor kills it. So did Gretchen win today's award? Gretchen won the Gretchen, Gretchen award. award. Congratulations, Gretchen! So this episode was written by Stephen Moffat and Phil Ford. Boom! And they did a great job. And I, as I said last week, I think one thing Moffat needs is an editor. He needs a partner. And I think Phil Ford obviously was that guy this week. And, and he did an, they did an amazing job together. I thought the script was... I thought this week's story was very solid. The characters were great. Uh, you really got to know this doctor. I really, really loved Capaldi's scenes and lines. I loved his new relationship with Clara. They wanted to tackle a question about the doctor. They did that in the first episode, and they'll probably do it in future episodes. But in this one, it wasn't like over. It was, we didn't get beat over the head with it. Like no, it, it was very obvious. It's like it's like what kind of man is this doctor? Who yeah. is he? And he sees he good or not? And that's a right. And, and then through through the story, he got to explore that because he's exploring what the Dalek is too. Showing and not a telling. The journey he's going through the Dalek was a journey he was going through himself to figure out who he was as a person. It was great. Story-wise, the only thing I didn't like in this episode was the intro introduction of Pink, oh. uh, the school teacher. Now, uh, spoiler alert for you guys that don't know it, the BBC's already announced it, so you might have seen it, so I'm just going to say it. He's going to be a companion. But the doctor doesn't let soldier companions on the TARDIS. But let's put that aside. I get why the doctor has promised yeah. soldiers. Um, they, it, just, it wasn't well done. Like, no, they, they crammed too many, too many elements in for, for Pink. We, in we such really a short did, time. Yeah. We, I mean, we saw him. We saw him be like the tough soldier guy in the, in, like, the very first scene. Then he was a, a respectable teacher. Then he was the crying sensitive guy. Then he's supposed to be a lady killer. And then he's the guy that's not good with ladies, that's all emotional and like feels stupid. And it was too much for that character. We really just needed to be introduced to him. Yeah, because also I didn't get Jenna, I didn't get why... She'd fall on head over heels for him. Why she, why Clara would want to ask him out. I mean right. like she asked him like three times in a row and then like came to find him. She just met him, like why, why would she do that? What, one thing, I do have to commend Jenna on, on something. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the script, there's multiple times where other characters are calling out how uh, puppy love is she is, and you don't. You see, you see like a hint of it in her, but she doesn't do it over the top, which is it, which I loved. It, it's just sort of a, a small thing that no one notices, but if you noticed it, it would have been bad. I like her a lot better with Capaldi. I never really liked her as a companion with Smith. I thought she was very one dimensional, and with Capaldi though. She really kind of serves a purpose. Like with, with Smith, yeah. she's, just, she's just a pretty girl that's there with him. With Capaldi, he needs her to ground him, to make him, and that's what the, that's what the best companions do for the Doctor. Because the Doctor, you know, he's been around for so long, and he's so old, and he's seen so much, he's been through so much. 
he gets a little distant. He needs those companions to ground him. Well, what, what they're doing, what they're doing is they're setting her up as the school teacher, and him as this. I mean, he's two thousand years old, but he needs to he learn needs a teacher, stuff. Yeah. You know, and and that's what they're doing. And it's actually beautiful because instead of making her this impossible girl who we have an impossible time relating to, right? They're making her a school teacher who, is, like, we all know school teachers. Which, by the way, school teacher call back to the very first two companions, Ian and Barbara, who were school teachers. Yep. History and science. So, so we talked. I talked about Jenna, mm -hmm. uh, and and Capaldi was great. Oh, so um, what about our side characters? What about our newbies? That we have to mm. Both pink and blue. They were written things that that are incredibly difficult to perform. Blue was given this scenario where her brother has just died, and then she was thrust on. Uh, I mean, it's an incredible mission for sure, but it's also a mission that any one of the thirty crew member on that ship could have done. Um, but but what's interesting? I mean, what, what, what's tough for her is that. She's been given this, this death in the family, and then no lines, no moments, nothing that sort of recall that, or give, right. give that... Uh, Some um, gravity is something Yeah, the, 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 the presence that it needs. It's, it, it's a story problem, but it's, you know, like, and it, I, don't, I don't necessarily know how to fix that as an actor. Um, I mean, I, I, and I don't think that's actually her fault. Again, that, that is something that comes down with the writing, like... Yeah. They wrote a, they first had a, a brother die that we never met. If we don't meet the character, to us, he's just dead by number one. We don't care. Right. There's no difference to care about it. And also, she got over it super fast. And I mean, if, if my brother has been killed by a Dalek, right. putting me inside a Dalek is probably the worst place to do. Like, she should have been wanting to kill that Dalek from the second she got in there. The, uh, he, honestly, here's what happened we need the brother to die. Yeah, need if, if that didn't happen, I would have been totally fine with it. She would have been was, was, she would been a nice, generic guest star. That didn't stand out quite as much as Gretchen. Now the other great moment was when the Dalek was looking into Capaldi's mind, and, and we were seeing all this beauty, perfection, and then and then the Dalek honed in on on Capaldi's hatred for the Dalek, and, and essentially expanded that to become the Dalek's new point of view completely. Especially when we makes sense. When we're exploring. Who when when the episode is exploring who is Capaldi as yeah. the Doctor? Who is who is who is this new doctor inside? And when he shows his soul to someone, the thing that they latch on to the most is hatred. Ooh. That that's a that's a really well, good and, and you could just see it in Capaldi's eyes. It was great. Uh, of like, he's a good eye actor. Are you? Oh no, I was eye acting a little bit. Oh, I'm not an actor. Oh, sorry, we did let our guests talk today. We're so rude. Yeah, Dave. So tell tell us what I mean. You know, being being a uh, person just like the rest of us, what um, what did you think about the show? You know, he's human because he has a mustache. Yeah. You are an enemy of the Daleks. You must be destroyed. Dave's a Dalek. He's a Dalek. I set him up with my sister for next week. I can't. She will be exterminated. That is not a good first date, Dave.